Hi, I'm Mike May with Erie Tech, and today we'll do a simple startup on a Yaskawa GA500 drive. All of the information discussed here today can be found in the manual or on our website at erietech.com. So one of the things that we need to think about when we do a startup is planning. We need to plan our control method. We need to plan our start and stop, whether it's going to be a wired start and stop or if it's going to happen from the operator itself. We also need to think about our speed reference and where that's going to come from, from a wired input or from the operator. Then we have to think about our stopping method. Will this motor ramp to a stop or will it just coast to a stop? That's going to be process dependent. We need to think about whether reverse operation is necessary for our process, as well as the acceleration time and the deceleration time. How fast it goes from zero to 60 hertz and how fast it goes from 60 to zero. We also need to think about our duty, whether this is a constant torque or a variable torque. A variable torque would be anything like a pump or a fan. The most important parameter that we need to program in this drive is our full load current that's on the nameplate of every motor. Okay, to get started, we need to determine our control method. So on our application, we're going to go into our parameters, PAR, and we're going to go to parameter A102. From the factory, this drive comes defaulted at open loop vector. If we wanted to go to volts per hertz, we would change this to a zero, and we would hit enter. Once you see the end, it means that it's taken the parameter and saved it. Next, we need to consider our reference source, how we're going to tell it how fast to run. And that is parameter B101. When we get there, a zero is going to be from the operator. In this instance, that's where we want to run, but if you wanted to go to terminals, a wired speed pot, we would make it a one. Next, we're going to go to our start-stop method, parameter B102. And in our start-stop method, zero is a digital operator. Zero one is a start-stop contact closure on the terminals. So in our instance here, for training purposes, we're going to leave it on the operator. And then we have to consider our stopping method. Our stopping method on this drive is coast to a stop, which is what we want. If you wanted to go to a ramp to a stop, we would go there, which is how it comes from the factory as a ramp to a stop but I prefer, in this instance, a coast to stop. In our application, we have to determine if we're going to run reverse. In parameter B104, reverse is allowed from the factory. If we change this to 01, We're now prohibiting reverse operation of the motor. Now we need to worry about our acceleration and deceleration time. Our acceleration time is parameter C101. I have it set to five seconds, 
from the factory it comes as 10 seconds. What this means on our motor is that we will go from 0 to 60 Hertz in 5 seconds. If I left it at 10 it would be 0 to 60 Hertz in 10 seconds. And in the D cell, which is parameter C102, it factory defaults at 10 seconds as well and we're going to leave it there. Next we have to worry about our duty. Is this a pump or a fan or something more along the lines of a conveyor? A pump or a fan would be variable torque. A conveyor would be constant. From the factory we come on this drive as normal duty but I've changed it to constant torque or heavy duty. Lastly, the most important parameter that we have is to set our full load current for, for the motor in parameter E201 and it needs to be set to protect the motor so our motor isn't damaged in an overload situation. Once that's set, we can get out of our parameters and create a speed reference on the operator hit enter, hit run, and our motor's running. Hit stop, and the motor goes to a stop. Thanks for watching today, and if you need help on your startup, please contact us at Erie Tech.